large crowds all the way through the entire downtown section of San Antonio. They were very friendly. And here we're approaching the Brooks Air Force Base Aeromedical Center, where the president is to uh, make a speech dedicating the new medical center. Here the people are racing to uh, get a glimpse of President and Mrs. Kennedy. Uh, they didn't want to miss out, and so they're running as fast as they can to make sure they have an opportunity to see the president. For us, it was an exciting time to, one, get out of school. Number two was to actually see both the president and his wife. Uh, and uh, it was like uh, really a kind of uh, a king and queen coming to visit. Ladies and gentlemen, for more than three years, I've spoken about uh, the new frontier. Of course, all of us were looking around, looking at the girls and daydreaming. But as he began to speak, it really began to resonate with me. The fact me. that we do stand on the edge of a great new era, filled with both crisis and opportunity, an era to be characterized by achievement and by challenge. This nation has tossed its cap over the wall of space. We have no choice but to follow it. Sounds kind of simplistic, but nobody had really looked me in the eye and gave me that heave ho to get up, get off my butt, and get on with my life. With the vital help of this aerospace medical center, with the help of all those who labor in the space endeavor, with the help and support of all Americans, we will climb this wall with safety and with speed, and we shall then explore the wonders on the other side.